So that, let's do that same problem now, but instead of um, figuring out the molarity of the two ions, we'll figure out the equivalence per liter of the two ions, okay? So equivalence is the same thing as moles, but it's moles of charge, okay? So if we think about like our ions here, right? When we, ever, when we say we've got one mole of sodium ions, that means we have one equivalent of charge, okay? Why? Because sodium only has one charge per ion. Is that cool with everybody? So we say we have one equivalent of charge. Okay. Is that okay? So, when we say we have one mole of phosphate ions, so for every phosphate ion, we have three charges, okay? So, we have three equivalents of charge. And you can go and say negative charge, positive charge, you can further identify things if you want to, okay? But for right now, we're just wondering about equivalence altogether, okay? So, let's see if we have a problem. So, now we ask, instead of the molarity of the two ions, what are the equivalents of charge of those two ions, okay? So, in this case, we're looking for not the concentration of those things, but the equivalence of charge of sodium, right? And the equivalence of the charge of phosphate, okay? And we still use this, we still use this, and we still, and now we need to use this too, okay? Is everybody okay? Can you see the step, step, step? Okay. So, to figure out the equivalence of sodium ions, we have to figure, we have to know the concentration of sodium phosphate to begin with. We know that. One mole of sodium phosphate per liter of solution. We also know the number of moles of sodium phosphate to the number of moles of sodium ions that was given to us from the uh, reaction equation that you had to figure out. All of this was based on you knowing the charge of this phosphate ion. Okay, so remember that. Okay, so just another conversion factor. Um, on the bottom, what's going to be on the bottom? One mole sodium phosphate, right? And on the top, three moles sodium ions. Okay. Does that give us the number of, of equivalents per charge? No, we still will need one more step, right? So, for every, we're kind of getting into that, but so for every one equivalent of charge, right, it's one mole of sodium ions. So that's going to cancel with that. So we get these units now that are equivalents of charge per liter. Do you guys see that? Okay. And then we just do 1 times 3 times 1, which is 3 divided by 1. So this equals 3 equivalents per liter. Okay? So that's the way to say that. And if you want to even further emphasize of uh, Na plus ions. Okay? Does that make sense? Should we do it for phosphate ions too? Yeah, okay, it's the same thing, okay? Um, 
I'm going to just erase what we've done here because I don't have very much room on this board, okay? You guys can watch the video again. Um, so instead of equivalence of sodium, we're going to do equivalence of phosphate. And we have to start with this same concentration, right? We'll write it again. We'll do the whole step by step by step again. Okay? And remember, so we're looking for equivalence of charge, so we got to get there. But we got to start here. One mole of sodium phosphate per liter of solution, right? Multiply that by the conversion factor, because we're looking for, uh, eventually, char uh, equivalence of charge from the phosphate ion. So we don't have that other conversion factor up here. What is it? One mole of Na3PO4 equals what? One mole of PO4 3 minus ions. Okay. So one mole Na3PO4. Uh, one mole. Two, four, three minus ions. That'll cancel with that. So now we're at mole of three, uh, PO4, three minus ions, but that's not equivalence. So we just got to do it one more time because we've got the uh, conversion factor that uh, changes one to the other. One mole phosphate ions, um, three equivalents. Of charge, cancel, cancel, and then the equivalence of charge, of course, for phosphate ions is also going to be what? Three. three. And that makes sense, hopefully. Three equivalents per liter you want to think about of charge from the phosphate. Right. Um, it makes sense because the charges always have to balance, right? Okay. But you knew that all, all the way from <coughs> way up here. You know, so. Are there any questions on this stuff? Okay, so the, the next step is, you know, these just keep going to the next step. You know, like molarity, molality, or whatever, you know? So you just got to... Keep finding these step by step by step things, you know, in order to convert one to the other. And you just got to keep remembering, you know, this step will convert this to this and not this to this other one. Okay?